welcome back to my channel my name is amy if you are new here and today we are updating my thrifting wish list so if you've been around here for a while you'll know that i made a thrifting wish list in about march and i'm excited to say that i basically finished it so if you're not sure what a thrifting wish list is i actually made this to kind of keep myself in check stop myself from buying so much um gradually i did buy stuff that wasn't on it as you can tell by my recent videos um but basically that's mainly because i finished kind of shopping it so for the first couple of months i was only buying stuff on my thrifting wish list now i am kind of you know letting myself buy other stuff um but i thought i'd go through first what was on my thrifting wish list what i've managed to find and what pieces i am still looking out for so the things that are on my thrifting wish list that I've managed to find are a leather gilet, a maxi skirt, a pink oversized shirt, cargoes, cowboy boots, satin dress, a maxi dress, a long leather coat, a white cardigan, black trousers, black trainers, white trainers, a lilac slash pinstripe suit and a black belt. Um, a couple of them things I'm noticing now that although I do have, um, they weren't the right fit. So I got it and then got it home and it didn't fit right. Um, but in general, I am kind of happy with all the things I've got and I'm happy that I've ticked them off. Um, the only two things that are still on there is a pinstripe suit and a real leather jacket. So they're the things that are going to be staying. I'm going to move the other stuff down because I do, do still want a track of them so I can just sort of see which things I've found. Um, but I'm just going to go through things I want to add to my thrifting wish list. I'm going to do this kind of from memory. I may have a little look at Pinterest boards to see. Um, but the first thing that I am looking out for currently is a red pair of ballet pumps. So I want a red pointed toe pumps. I've seen these kind of all over at the moment. Most of them do have a heel. However, I've decided I'm not buying heels now. I don't wear them at all. They hurt my feet. Um, if I could find a pair of a black platforms that I could wear out on like a night out um but still look nice that would be great because I just don't wear any heels in fact I've got rid of all my heels apart from I think one or two pairs I have got a pair of black kitten heels which are fine but they still do hurt so I would like a pair of black platforms um like a pair of sandals that I can dress up dress down but equally can wear on like a night out um because that is something I'm missing trying to think of what else there's definitely been things i've been thinking about um so i am gonna hop on over to pinterest to sort of see what is on there and then i will get back to you so another thing i'm quite keen on at the moment i've started buying kind of medium size bags i just feel like i'm in my medium bag girl era and i've got a black one i've got a brown one i've got my dkny one but i would really like a white medium sized bag um i've also got my red one already um which is kind of medium it's kind of in between mini and medium so that's fine but that is definitely something to add to my list but another thing i would like to add to my list is a pair of chunky black loafers now i want these to fit me well and not hurt my feet i'm aware that's something i probably can't control but i would really like a pair of black chunky loafers i feel like these are so cute to style up to dress down um and just an alternative to me wearing trainers i wear trainers literally every day and i definitely think shoes are what i'm lacking i also would love a pair of red flat painted boots um because i love my heeled red like painted boots but i just don't wear them they kill my feet i literally can't even stand in them for a try on clip anymore they hurt my feet so bad and especially since i've hurt my ankle i'm really struggling to walk in any heel um and i just don't wear them so i would love a pair of red flat painted boots again kind of with a pointy toe i'm not definitely wanting a pointy toe but i do really like a red pointy boot of some sort and i want them to be flat another thing is going on my list it's been on my list for ages is a harley jacket i really really want a harley jacket whether this comes in the form of a real leather jacket and kind of kill two birds with one stone but i would really like a harley davison jacket because you guys know harley davison is my love um 
and I would love a Harley Davidson jacket. Now I do have a lot of jackets, um, so it'd have to be quite special. And also Harley Davidson jackets go for so much um, and I'm not willing to pay like a massive amount. Um, so that is something that's going on there. Um, but I'm aware it may be like a longer term thing. Um, and another thing that isn't clothing, but I am gonna add on here because it is something I wanna thrift, is matching bedside tables. Um, because your gal needs some matching bedside tables. She's had odd ones for years and it's, it's one of the last things in my room I'm not happy with. So matching bedside tables and also matching table lamps for the bedside tables. Um, because yeah, again, I don't have any table lamps in here and I just find in the evenings, especially now it's getting dark earlier, that I want to put a light on, but don't want my overhead light on. I want some like ambient lighting that's not too intense. Um, so that's something that is going on my list. So another thing that I'm gonna add onto my thrifting wish list is a cream cable knit jumper. Now this has been on my list for years and years and I've just never managed to find the perfect cream cable knit jumper. And I feel like it is such a staple come autumn winter to have a cream cable knit jumper. Um, so I'm gonna add that to my list and that is something always been searching for i do have a lot of jumpers so i think if i do manage to find this then i will um get rid of a couple of other jumpers i own because i do have i think one or two cream jumpers or like a beigey brown so a cream cable knit jumper is definitely on my list i really want it to be a thick cable knit jumper proper lots of detail on the front a turtleneck it's just my dream and I think I had one ages ago that I bought in Primark when I was still shopping fast fashion and I just wore it all the time. I wore it with jeans, with leather trousers, with skirts. I just feel like they're really versatile and as I said in one of my previous hauls, I reckon I will li be living in jumpers when in going to work because I just feel like they're an easy thing to like dress up um, but still look really cute. Another thing I am going to add on here is necklaces. Um, I definitely want to get into like layering necklaces more. Um, so that is definitely something I want to add. And as I keep on saying, the whole thing about wearing rather than styling. No, styling rather than wearing. Um, so I do also want a harness um, because at the Thriftify finale fashion show by Lizzie Caps was wearing the most amazing harness with basically all her outfits. And it just looked so good. And I was like, wow do I want a harness? And I think I do, just to add some kind of style, add some definition. So I think necklaces and a harness will add them kind of, I want pieces in my kind of jewelry styling, like accessory drawer to have lots of items that I can pick and choose from to add to an outfit. So when I'm getting dressed, I'm trying to make it super, super simple. I will insert a thing here of what my jewellery thing looks like now because I'm really proud of it. Um, but I want to have all my accessories in one place so I can kind of get dressed but then equally go to that drawer and grab out accessories and things like that, that I want to wear with the outfit just to make sure I'm styling and wearing things that make me happy. Um, so yeah, that's definitely something to add to the list. And I am just going to add nice shoes because I don't really have i have quite a few pair of shoes if you saw my second hand september video i did for the undone mums challenge i have quite a lot of shoes most of them are trainers like boots and wellies that i brought for glastonbury and strappy little sandals that aren't really comfortable like slip on sort of shoes that i would wear if you know on holiday but not necessarily like for a full day here because they're not comfortable um so i definitely want some nicer shoes to Make my outfits look nice because I always find I put together a nice outfit and then I have to add on an ugly pair of shoes. And I get annoyed at myself every time. And Hannah gets annoyed at me every time. And I just want some nice shoes that I can walk in that are comfortable. Um, and I know that's something I'm probably going to have to just wear in these shoes a bit more rather than just kind of wear them once they're uncomfortable. I don't wear them again. So if anyone has any tips on wearing in shoes. And also, I have been wanting to stretch out my cowboy boots for a while because they're a little bit tight and apparently there's lots of ways you can stretch out a pair of boots um so if you have any tips because there's lots of um things online and i just want to know which is the best one to go for so if you have any tips of how to stretch out cowboy boots or any leather boots please let me know but it's been a very long rambly video but i'm going to read you out my final thrifting wish list um which we're going to start working on so we have got a pinstripe suit and a real leather biker jacket both from last time then we want some red pointed toe pumps. We want some black platform sandal shoes, something. A white medium sized bag. Black chunky loafers. 
red flat painting boots, a Harley Davidson jacket, matching bedside tables and matching table lamps to go on top, a cream cable knit jumper, some cute necklaces, a black, I'm gonna, I didn't say black harness, but I think any harness, I feel like I'm open to different colors and some nice shoes. And that is what is on my thrifting wish list and what I'm gonna be hunting for next time I go thrifting and probably until the end of the year. Um, Cause it took me a good couple of months to find the things from March to now. Um, So who knows, who knows how long that'll take me, but I'll be sure to keep you updated. Um. Sorry the video was really rambly. I just thought I wanted to update my thrifting wish list and thought you guys might as well come in my brain dump for that and listen to my thought process behind the things I'm adding on my thrifting wish list. So let me know what's on your thrifting wish list. Have you got anything in particular you are trying to find at the moment? Subscribe if you're not already and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.